Rise of food delivery platforms coupled with COVID-19 outbreak, takeaway has become popular. Plastic tableware is being disposed of at alarming rates. A green group conducted a survey in April 2020. During the pandemic, more than 100 million pieces of disposable plastic are consumed a week. In 2018, 4.17 tons of municipal solid waste was disposed of at landfills with a daily average of more than 11,000 tons. Plastic waste ranks third in municipal solid waste. Plastic disposal is up to 2,300 tons per day, of which plastic and polyfoam dining wares account for 210 tons, equivalent to the weight of 14 double-decker buses. Takeaway has become so popular. Is it 100% safe to use plastic dining ware? Food and Environment Hygiene Department and Consumer Council conducted a joint study on plastic food containers provided by food establishments and school meal suppliers. Results showed all samples were suitable for holding acidic, non-fatty foods at less than or equal to 100 degrees Celsius. With proper use, food safety is not a problem. Hong Kong is not short of mass events, such as food fairs and carnivals, etc. Events consume a lot of disposable dining ware. A group of eco-conscious young people couldn't stand the huge waste resulted from massive use of disposable dining ware. They started a dining ware rental service. Judith let us visit their warehouse today. With three years effort, Judith's company started with 30 sets of ceramic dining ware, growing from serving small parties to marathons and even large scale carnivals estimated to save half a million pieces of disposable dining ware. Paul is a Taekwondo coach born in the 1990s. He teaches at schools and sports centers. Since a year ago, he has been living solo and doing all domestic chores by himself. Can he beat our zero disposable challenge? Even with a good course, under the pandemic, Wayne had to temporarily switch from reusable dining ware to disposable. This program has conducted a survey on the use of wet wipes. It reveals that around 20% of survey participants used 10 to 19 pieces of wet wipes in the past seven days. The amount is not small. In the UK, the wet wipes problem is even worse. Some British used to throw wet wipes into the toilet. Non-biodegradable wipes caught fat and grease in the sewer, formed fatty masses and caused blockages. A study in 2017 shows that, among all sewer blockages in the UK, more than 90% are wet wipes. A wet wipe comprises of water and various chemicals, including preservatives, moisturizers, disinfectants, artificial fragrance, fluorescent whitening agents to make it look white, and surfactants to clean. So many chemicals indeed. We use them often. Is it bad for our skin? In 2020, France banned the use of non-biodegradable. April 2020, UK banned. From end of 2020, China banned all. From July 2019, New York. From 2021, EU banned. 1994, South Korea. By 2030, Taiwan plans to ban all disposable plastic products.